Hey again everybody, Dr. Bolin here with our microbiology shorts. This is just a condensation of our uh, shorts that we go over in our larger videos uh, talking about microorganisms. Um, I just want to invite you to come watch our larger videos if you want a more in-depth explanation of the topic. Uh, feel free to subscribe, uh, hit the subscribe button uh, below uh, or donate to my Patreon if you like these videos. So let's get started. So our story takes place at the Clover Fleece Farm, and I chose that name because it kind of sounds like Clostridium difficile. Maybe, kind of, well, close enough. Okay, so we have our two sheep, Sheep A and Sheep B, and they are dining on some nuts. I don't know, I don't think sheep eat nuts, but they're eating it here. So nuts is our symbol for spore-forming bacteria. We see the nuts and all of our talks on spore-forming bacteria. And here comes Fleecer A. He's going to get the fleece from the sheep, and he is next to the entrance to the barn, and so is sheep A. And they're next to the entrance because toxin A is enterotoxin. Toxin A and enterotoxin, same thing. And he's got a brush because toxin A binds to the brush border, altering fluid secretion, resulting in diarrhea. And here comes our friend, the purple snake with a mask. And a purple snake with a mask is a reminder that C. diff is a gram-positive anaerobic rod, as are all the Clostridium species. And when it saw the snake, the sheep got scared and had diarrhea. And that is because toxin A causes diarrhea. Now here comes our other fleecer. And she is uh, next to the cyclone because toxin B, sheep B, is cytotoxic. Or cytotoxin. I don't know why they're fleecing sheep when there's a tornado, but here you go. So toxin B is cytotoxin. And that acts by inhibiting the polymerization of actin, and that's why she has this actin rod right here. She carries an actin rod to fleece the sheep. And so toxin B inhibits actin polymerization, resulting in cell death and pseudomembrane formation, which also contributes to the diarrhea. She's also got an antibiotic bottle, and that's because C. diff colitis is induced by antibiotics, as well as proton pump inhibitors, especially when used with an antibiotic. Notice the well here. That's to remind you to wash your hands with water and soap, not with alcohol foam. So hand washing reduces the transmission of C. difficile. And... We're not escaping the consequences of that cyclone. It just blew up a van and a metro. And that's to remind you that you treat C. diff colitis with vancomycin or metronidazole, oral. Remember, vancomycin is preferred. You can also use phydoxamycin as another uh, possible antibiotic to use. 